Nihoma, Maloilele, and greetings from the island kingdom of Tonga. With your theme in the connecting, the marine Silk Road, sharing the island development, it is understandable that each country and each region has a different notion of what would be a best way to connect to the outside world through various means of connectivity, either internet, transportation, or by air or sea, in searching for better returns not only to the sender, but to the recipients. With the increasing pressure on resources from rising populations, it is all the more urgent for us now to seriously plan for a better way on how to do business using the available resources such as ICT. One of the key elements of these Marine Silk Road initiatives is that it will enhance the development cooperation between China and the island states. Albert, we fully recognize the challenges posted by the distance. With the efforts to grow the economy of the region and Tonga in particular, we have no doubt that the interconnecting the Marine Silk Road will certainly provide the right catalyst to support the Look East policy established by His Late Majesty King Taufahau to the Fourth in his endeavour to connect with Asia region as new partners in development. Recently, the government has approved the visa free entry from China to Tonga and given the millions of tourists from mainland <coughs> traveling around the world, the new platform of, for tourism exchange, no doubt, will create the economic and social benefits to the regions, Tonga in particular. The upgrade of our infrastructure, especially the wharf and airport, has made us have the confidence ships and planes carrying thousands of passengers across the ocean and air will dock and land in Tonga, bringing in more benefits to the country. I am confident that the adoption of this new platform not only enhances the visibility of China in the regions, it will strengthen the partnership and cooperation between China and the region. I have no doubt this is the beginning of a new world in the form of tourism and trade between us and China, so as to provide mutual benefits supporting the efforts to meet the SDGs 2030. Ladies and gentlemen, let me express our wholehearted support for this far-reaching initiative and China's leaderships in the global movement towards building a better world for all. Malo Abito, Shesheh.